What's up guys? We are in week two of official training for World's Strongest Woman and we're going to take a look at some deadlifts today from the comfort of what will soon be the official Dungeon Strength RX media room. It's one of the improvements to the gym that I'm really excited about over the next few months. Um, this should turn into a really awesome space with like a backdrop and camera equipment where we can do podcasts and content creation and, and this kind of thing. So um, especially as we're getting into like the nitty gritty of prep. I want to do a better job at putting up training vlogs and kind of talking through my sessions with you guys. So um, we're going to take a look at some deadlifts today. I will say this is probably, I don't want to say the event that I'm most worried about because I'm not bad at deadlifts, but there are just a lot of monster pullers out there. Um, and I know that like static strength has never been my strength. Um, most of the events that Worlds is here I'm really excited about. I think I could do really well at. Uh, but that deadlift ladder goes up to 560, which even as a single would be a 25 pound PR and it'll be the fifth bar on a ladder. So um, I'm confident that we're going to get there, but finishing it quickly is going to be it's going to be a lot of work. So we're going to be putting in a lot of work into my deadlift over the next 12 weeks. Um, and this is just week two. So I think we're off to a pretty good start. I did change up my deadlift stance last week. I brought my stance in quite a bit. Um, that's something that I, I never really liked in the past. I had tried more narrow stances with my deadlifts in the past and not really liked it. It really just went straight to my back. I had a really hard time staying in my legs. But I think two things, a lot of the work that we've done just with my technique on deadlifts and utilizing my quads more and the like 12 weeks of specific glute training that we did earlier this year um, in my off season really helped. And so now this stance is feeling a lot more leggy. Um, so still, familiarizing myself with the movement and the positions. You can see my, my warm-ups there. It kind of took me a few sets to, to find the right positions, but I do get a lot more out of my legs um, with, with this stance. So excited to see what happens when we, we keep this in training for a while. Um, but we're just getting into the working sets here. We had eight doubles today for working sets, three doubles at 405, and then five doubles at 425. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how they went. I can definitely feel this week more so than last week. My back is just really tired, which is expected. You know, last week I was going in to that first session really fresh after a deload. This week, um, after a hard week of training, I'm just a little bit more tired. So I do feel like I did a pretty good job here staying in my legs, but you can see in a lot of these sets, the bar drifts forward a little bit. I'm having a hard time keeping my, my back set. Um, and that's just a fatigue thing. Um, Jumping up the weight to 425 now, the first double here, these first couple, that, that 20 pounds made a really big difference. So you can see a little bit of shift forward, um, but not too bad. These actually, I feel like, got better as I went. So um, you can see the, the bar speed definitely does start to slow down, but positions get better, and I'm ultimately pretty happy with that. So here we got set two, a little bit of drift forward, I'm losing my back a little bit which I felt as it was happening, but I was just really fucking tired by this point. That one was a little bit better. You can see I'm definitely slowing down past the knees, but it's because I'm being really intentional about positions, staying on my legs, not letting the bar pull me forward. And these last two sets here, I'm actually the most happy with. So they don't move quickly, but these felt the most productive in terms of um, really feeling like I was utilizing the new positions, using my legs, staying out of my back. And I noticed a lot less low back pump after my deadlifts this week than I usually do. Usually after this sort of volume on deadlifts, I would have a debilitating back pump that would make me take a break for you know 30, 45 minutes before finishing the rest of my workout. And even though those got slow at the end, um, I'm really happy with these ones because I, I didn't, I wasn't hurting afterwards, which was, a huge, huge, huge win for me. Um, so that was it for deadlifts. And then the accessories, we only had three. It's one of those uh, workouts that on paper didn't look like that much. Like it was only four exercises. We had the deadlifts. We have some 45 degree hyper here. And then we had some leg press and leg curls. So it looked short on paper, but this workout was actually really fucking hard. Um, so we just got a nice little glute pump here. I love that machine. Um, and then we're gonna move on to some leg press. This was my last set here. It was supposed to be a three countdown. 
uh, one count pause at the bottom, but if I remember correctly, I kind of sucked at the pause. Yep, yeah, that was kind of a shitty pause. But this was the last set here. Um, yep, again, no pause. <laughs> That's all right. Three count down. That was a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, we've, we've really been working on building up my legs this year. Um, my upper body has always just developed a lot easier and faster than my lower body has. Um, still the case, but my legs have gotten pretty damn strong. Super happy with that. So we had a 5x5 five five there. And then we just finished it off with a nice little hamstring pump. Uh, three sets of pretty high reps, building in weight. And then that was it. Like I said, not a whole lot of exercises, but um, really high effort. And this was a really mentally challenging day. So physically challenging, yes, of course, but anytime I'm working on like a new technique, there's just a lot of thought and intention that goes into it. So I was pretty exhausted after this, and this was only my first session of the week, so good start. Um, but yeah, that's what we had for deadlifts. Um, kept it short and sweet, just kind of ran you through the whole workout really fast. I mean, that was probably a two and a half hour workout condensed into six minutes, but um, overall, really happy with the work we got done there. And I want to keep doing more of these. So let me know what you think of this kind of training vlog format. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.